Should be a gorgeous weekend for all of those activities. Once tonight's rain gets out of our hair, we'll start to see some of that sunshine as soon as we get to tomorrow. Keep in mind, though, as we head into Saturday evening, there may be one interruption that we'll have to keep an eye out for. So uh, first up, though, we have to get rid of tonight's rainfall. As you can see, some heavier showers starting to track into the southern end of our viewing area. We've avoided a lot of those heavier showers over the course of this evening, as well as all the thunderstorms that were briefly some severe thunderstorms uh, into the south side of Chicago that now has calmed down and thankfully we've avoided all of those heavy thunderstorms as well as severe weather. We will continue though to see showers like this trend into our backyard throughout the night. That's thanks to a cold front still having to sweep through. So it's going to boost those showers up just a little bit, but thankfully not looking at any kind of strong to severe storms in our backyard. So for future track between now and about midnight, we do see some spotty thunderstorm activity amongst all of the rain, but in general, we're going to see at least some light to moderate showers through a lot of the early overnight hours. We get to about two, three in the morning. This is all starting to wind down and then we'll be dry just in time for the start of our Friday. It will start out a little cloudy though, but don't let that uh, diminish your mood or catch you off guard because as you can see by the middle of the morning, we are already starting to clear out. We have a lot of sunshine throughout the rest of the afternoon and comfortably warm temperatures in the low 70s. Great way to round out the work week. We get into the weekend. We've got a dry and sunny start to Saturday. Then we have to watch out for more scattered showers and possibly a storm or two going into Saturday evening. A little early preview of future track has that coming through at roughly five to six o'clock. So as we get into the late afternoon hours, pull up the 13 weather authority app, check that radar. If you're going to be outside, you'll have hopefully a little warning to get indoors. It's not going to stick around for very long as we get closer to sunset. A lot of that shower activity should be out. We have a dry night then ahead for Saturday, so it may only be an hour or two or you're interrupted by the rain and you can go back outdoors and enjoy all of those outdoor activities. And despite some rain in the forecast for the end of Saturday, beginning of Saturday looks pretty nice. We've got temperatures close to 80 degrees, lots of activities like those farmers markets starting up this weekend. Beautiful morning for it, whether you're going to the North End Market or the Beloit Farmers Market, 60s to 70s. Great way to kick off the weekend itself with all that sunshine. We'll have sunny weather for Sunday and Monday. Showers and storms possible again coming up next Tuesday. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, a long stretch of warm weather is ahead. But as we get into next weekend, we could be cooling back off again, but only down to the 60s, not really dropping down much further than that. And the four degree guarantee almost hit 80 today. We still hit the dartboard though. Cash total up over $150.